<laughs> she said she was cheating. She showed up and she said, I'm so nervous, I've been farting all day long. <laughs> Welcome to the stage from Snohomish, Bill, everybody! Yeah. 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 Before we get started, I had a public service announcement. In case anybody lost the roll of 20s, held together by a rubber band, uh, I found the rubber band, so see me after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be from the suburbs, I lived there all my life, but I recently moved to the country, rural setting. I'm having a bit of a hard time fitting in. Very different there. Like I used to, the, the silence is very stark. A lot of silence. Until it was shattered by gunshots. Uh, neighbors like to shoot, it seems. So, uh, more frequently than you would expect to. So I guess I'm gonna have to get along with them, learn the culture, written that culture and such. And I hope that one day shoot with them. I don't want to be suspicious of me since I'm not from there. I expect they might be going something like, hey, Vern, you heard much from Bill's place? Very quiet up there lately. And Joe would say, oh no, I don't know what's up, maybe he's out of bullets. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping that I can make these buddies my friends, maybe go shooting with them in the future. And I'm going to certainly need them for redneck advice as time moves on. <laughs> Speaking of advice, uh, it used to be I'd have people seek me out, specifically seek me out for advice. And I would willingly give it. And the next thing you know, I find out that they do the opposite. That really bugs me, I hate that. So now I have a new tactic. When people ask me for advice, I kind of scan the room and look around and point to somebody, yeah, see that person over there, they can help you. They know a lot more than I do about that subject. And the truth be told, I don't know what they know or whether they gave any advice or what happened. But it doesn't matter to me because mission accomplished. They got off my back. It didn't matter to me. So it's all about feeling better about yourself, right? I feel better when that happens. Well, speaking of feeling good, the other day a guy tries to sell me on bidets. He's so enamored with bidets, he tries to bring me to his side. <laughs> you know a bidet, a European ass washer. <laughs> so at first he started talking about the paper, how I'd save on paper. And right away I think, whoa, if you, if you need to talk about paper savings, you probably can't afford a bidet. <laughs> Next he goes on about the cleanliness, how much cleaner it really is. And I'm thinking to myself, how does anybody really measure the cleanliness down there? I mean, there's, there's no meter on those machines. Is there a you read out of some kind? I mean, the people use just the white underwear test. And, uh, 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 for those for people that probably are concerned with that, maybe it's uh, porn stars or colonoscopy assistants. They would be more concerned with that kind of thing. And by the way, if anybody in the audience really hates their job, you think it stinks, and you work with assholes, two words for you. Colonoscopy assistant. <laughs> Let that penetrate for a second. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Woo! So, if you're anything like me, you wash your car, and the rain was right afterwards. Or you just step out of the shower, and let one rip. <laughs> Just wash that, I mean. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what kind of person buys a bidet anyways? What's their motivation? I kept thinking. So maybe it's somebody that all their life, all their life they've been thinking to themselves, uh, man, I didn't know this machine existed. I've been a sucker all my life doing it manually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other day I had a colleague uh, at work discussing something with me, and uh, this guy should not have been at work. He was way too sick to have shown up, but he did anyways. So uh, this guy was so sick, coughing, hacking, sniffling, and a couple of <coughs> those noises too during the conversation. It was pretty bad. Uh, this guy could have been the poster boy for coronavirus if there's such a thing. <laughs> Maybe there is in China, I don't know. <laughs> so my mind is racing, you know, it's a pretty serious thing, coronavirus. Next thing you know, the conversation is just about over. Finally it ends. So I hang up my phone, wipe it down with sanitizer, and right away go wash my hands. <laughs> but you can never be too safe. <laughs> so that's my set, people. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
all the smiles with that asshole. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,